Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Uh, welcome back to uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, as you guys can see uh, with the title of the video, today we'll be having a, a Jito sandwich. It's a, uh, you know, very popular sandwich here in the city of Chicago. Almost anywhere you can find a one of these sandwiches. You can find them almost in any nick and corner of the city. It's part of the Chicago style, uh, uh, Chicago style street food. This place where we're going is filled with all kinds of uh, Chicago style street food, uh, obviously including the Gito. Uh, but I mean, is this Gito sandwich an underrated sandwich here in, in Chicago? Is it, an, is it an underrated Chicago style street food? Well, I mean, you know, when, when you think about Chicago style street food, do you think, do people think like, the, you know, is the Gito one of the first things that come to mind? You know, a lot of people think, you know, Chicago style deep dish pizza, obviously the hot dog. Uh, we explored the uh, the uh, Maxwell Street Polish. Is the Gito something that comes out to mind, you know, when you think about Chicago style street food? Well, we're going to explore that today. We're going to go check out um, my favorite spot. I've been going to this spot for a very long time since I was a little kid. Um, so we're going to go try this out and you guys are going to come along. Catch you later. Hey, what's up, guys? So, uh, so yeah, we we made it to the place. Uh, we are here uh, where I like to get this uh, this Gito sandwich. This is by far my favorite. I've had Gito sandwiches um, in quite a few places around the city, uh, and this is still by ah uh, I wouldn't say by far, but it's still my favorite place to come and get a Gito. Um, it's uh, it's a place that I've been coming since uh, I'd say mid to late nineties. You know, with uh, obviously my parents coming, uh, bringing us here to, to get food and stuff. And, uh, but yeah, uh, I've had Gito's for, or from quite a few places and this is still uh, my favorite. Uh, so the place, the place where we're at. Uh, Nikki's, Nikki's, Nikki's on 58th and uh, 58th and this is the place where I like to come. This is the place where I've been coming for uh, like I said mid to late 90s Nikki's on 58th and Kedzie uh, they have uh, you know they have different types of food not just Gito's obviously for those of you who are familiar with the place um, but uh, yeah let's go check it out um, I'll let you guys know and this is why this is my favorite all right guys so uh, I got myself the sandwich uh, for the first time I actually was going to order uh, or sorry <laughs> eat in the restaurant but they had music playing copyright stuff and I actually asked uh, the girls if I could record, but then the owners were there, and yeah, it didn't go so well. So yeah, I got myself this Giro, uh, the Giro, Giro sandwich. Again, um, this place is uh, Nikki's on 58th and Kedzie, if anybody is familiar with the area. They sell all kinds of food, burgers, hot dogs, barbecue ribs, uh, barbecue rib tips, uh, Grecian chicken, uh, chicken Giro's, um, all kinds of food here. It's, uh, almost everything I've had here is, you know, it's pretty good. Um, like I said, I've been coming here for since the mid to late '90s, um, and it's uh, it's pretty good. So this is the Gito itself. Nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. Typical Gito with the meat, the tatini sauce, and tomatoes and onions. Uh, so for those who don't know, tatini sauce is it's a type of sauce that uh, it they they use like uh, Greek yogurt. They uh, dilute it, dilate it, dilute it, and um, they mix cucumber in it with it, and that's how they make the tatini, tatini sauce. Um, this one is not so. This one is not so thick like some of the other um, some of the other tatini sauces that I've had at other Gitos, and uh, the Gito has been. It's been, or it became popular here in, in, in the U.S. or Chicago area in the mid 60s to late 60s, uh, both in Chicago and New York. Now, uh, I do have a, <laughs> uh, I know some Greek, you know, that Greek people that do not think this is uh, Greek at all, which um, it's more of an Americanized uh, uh, Greek sandwich, uh, a Gito. So the original Gito in Greece is uh, it dates back to like the times of Alexander the Great. It's actually made uh, f with pork in Greece. Here they use here in the U.S. they use uh, uh, beef and lamb to make the gyro meat. Um, this is your typical gyro. Like I said before, uh, the 
tomatoes, onions, and a tzatzini sauce on a pita bread. The pita bread is, uh, you know, it's pretty good. It's nice and fluffy, usually here at this place. Uh, and yeah, let's take a quick bite. It's pretty big. Uh, a lot of it. A lot, I ordered just a regular Giro because you can get like a Giro dinner with fries and you know and uh, and your pop. Um, you can get a Giro plate, double the meat, two pitas, small little uh, Greek salad on the side, and fries and all that stuff. Right now, I just went with the small little Giro. It's almost like a taco. <laughs> you grab it, and I don't know. You just bite into it, man. Like, ah. Mmm. I think I need napkins. Again, the meat here is, is pretty good. The reason why I like the Gito so much, the uh, the meat is so tender. It's not rough. It's not chewy. Um, supposedly, this meat is mix of lamb and beef, ground beef. But it's really good. Like, you know, they, they, they use the, the comb to bring it down with the knife, pour it into your... Um, into the pita bread um again I, I really wish i can could have recorded and i actually had the courage to ask i just they were too busy and the owners were there and they didn't really like the idea um but the taste of the of the meat it's uh like i said the meat itself is very tender it breaks down really easily in your mouth it's it's nice and easy going to to chew and and it's just a it's a good taste the tzatzini sauce, I don't know if a lot of people are not, um, you know, fans of it. It's a, it, it, I mean, it's taken me a while to get used to many things, but tzatzini sauce, it's pretty good. Um, like I said, some can be very ooey, watery, <clears throat> and some can be very hard or almost like, um, like paste. Um, some of these Giro places that I've gone to, the 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 sauce it's like i said it's too pasty and just doesn't taste well this one is not pasty it's more like um more watery and uh, it has a good taste you can taste the cucumber in it i didn't know it was made out of yogurt of greek yogurt um but you can taste the greek uh the the uh, the cucumber on this and uh i don't know i've always thought that Giro's can be you know somewhat of a healthy version of chicago style or chicago street food i'm sorry Mm. <laughs> I don't think I've had it with red onion before. I, I mean, like I said, I've been coming to this place for a long time. And I don't recall uh, them having red onions. But this one has red onions, which personally I prefer over the regular onions. You just can't go wrong with this meat. It's, you know, the edges... Uh, can be a little bit uh, more well done. The middle part, it's it's medium, me so it's soft. You know, you you take a bite into it, and it just kind of breaks down in your mouth. Um, so I've had lamb before, obviously from different places, like and this does taste like lamb, even though they say it's a mixture of beef and lamb, ground beef and lamb. But I can taste the you know the the uh, the taste of of lamb. Um, so once again, um, 58th and Kedzie, Nikki's, um, and back, you know, like the, like, like my title says, um, is, is the Gito an underrated Chicago style or Chicago street food? Uh, do people think, when people think about, uh, street food, do you think about a Gito? Uh, I personally do. Whenever somebody comes from, I'm out of town, same thing like the Maxwell Street Polish, I bring them to, to Nikki's and and uh, get yourself a, to bring them and give them a, a taste of a Giro. Uh, even with some of my wife's family has come, I've always tried to bring them to get a the hot dog and a Giro. This Giro is a little bit different. It's yes, it's not Greek, uh, but it's Chicago. Personally, whenever I see a Kronos truck, I'm like, man. That's home right there. You know, bro. This is home to me. To me, this is this is Chicago food. It's not underrated. I mean, sorry. 
it's it is underrated in my opinion. Like it's not talked about like a hot dog is or an Italian beef. So I think this is it's great for Chicago. Yes, you can find it in like places like New York, but I do think that when you come to Chicago, you must try a Gito sandwich. Um, you know, from what I read, the original ones are also on Halstead Street by the close to Maxwell Street Market. Mm. The pita bread is just so so soft. So you just I love the pita bread. Um the pita bread here. I mean most places you can't get a pita bread wrong, actually. Um but this place, like I said, the meat is very good. It's my probably my favorite sauce, the tatini sauce, and the pita bread. The pita bread is really good. It's nice and warm, nice and soft. It's a very um, easy meal to eat. And again, same thing that you same theme where if you're out working and you want a quick bite to eat. And you don't have too much time. You just get yourself the sandwich. I'm eating in, inside my truck today. And get your, you know, you, you're on your lunch break. Have a quick bite. And let's get back to work. A lot of the drivers, or a lot of the people that are here now are actually uh, city workers. There's a garbage truck right in front of me. Um, so it's nice and easy. Um, so again, I think the Gito is underrated. And... We should appreciate it a little bit more. You know, it's, like I said, it's a type of food that has existed for a very long time. Yes, it's not original Greek food, the one that we sell here. But it's still very good. It's still very Chicago. And um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. <laughs> I will try to finish my sandwich here. It's, it's very good. And I hope you guys stay tuned to the channel. How I'm hoping I don't bore you guys, but uh, I have plans to what the next one's going to be. I have quite a few plans for upcoming videos, and um, we're just going to explore more Chicago or more food that you can find in Chicago. Mm, like I said, Chicago is a very diverse city, many cultures, many type of food. Um, yes, this isn't 100% Greek, but it derives from a, from a Greek sandwich. Um, so we will continue to explore. We'll continue to explore different places, different foods. Um, so I hope you guys stay tuned. And, uh, well, I hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. Hope you guys have a rest, a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you.